Alright guys, welcome back. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so hopefully I, uh, I might, my voice might be a little bit, um, buggy at times, I guess. Uh, anyhow, uh, let's get on to doing some stuff with going medieval, and we'll see if we can't get some stuff uh, up and running. So, at the moment, she's digging, um this little wall section so we have an even wall for our farms and stuff so I wanted to do that and I'm not sure if they're yeah she's we'll probably end up getting her to uh, move some of this stuff um, to the dirt pile we should have a dirt pile down here though I'm not sure we might have told them to build yes we did okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and tell them to only store, uh, let's see here, raw food, and we'll copy that, and we'll paste it over onto these other shelves here. I'm not sure if the other one over here is on that one it's for raw food. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can then go ahead and tell one of our settlers to... Um, Get those carrots down there, I guess. So, where are you going? You're going for construction. You're gardening. Okay, so once this guy's finished doing this one, then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, tell him to carry those down to the um, cellar. Just so it's not going to spoil. It's already about 70% on some of these, so we don't want to have it like completely gone Lo the the longer the better the uh, condition the fresh meter is the more likely it will survive throughout winter or so but um, okay so the dog seems to be picking up those so we don't need to tell our settler to do that there is some dirt down there though so we'll have to get somebody to do that Okay, where did that guy go? No, 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 no. Carry those. Almost thought he got could get away with not bringing that stuff down to the uh, thing. How is the construction going on that, actually? Uh, got little bits of parts of it set up. It'll take a while, I think, in order to get it fully built.
Okay, so we got that huge, massive building uh, constructed. It should give us some protection for um, archery. And um, if there's the bowed people over there, then we'll be able to snipe them uh, quite easily from either one of those uh, particular ones. So that's good. Uh, now we can start focusing on the houses again. We need at least uh, two more houses uh, to get started and then we should probably start focusing on a actual dining area. Uh, we'll need to figure out where we're going to be putting that. Um, probably not too far away from the kitchen, I think. So I don't know if we should upgrade the kitchen first or something like that. Winter will be coming, so eventually this will be turned into something that we can... Uh, remove all the farming and stuff like that. So that's at least the plan at the moment. We'll have to move the livestock somewhere, but um, probably harvest that as well. I also uh, made some storage under here, so we have some storage for hay, and that will, like, it won't spoil under here. It will never decompile, so that will be fine as long as it's under something. Um. We are getting a little bit of wood. Uh, we do need more wood in order to progress in actually building. So I'm telling them to chop some stuff down. Hopefully they can do that uh, reasonably. Uh, we got 231 and 35. So it's just a matter of um, getting some more wood over to the stockpile and then we can start focusing on building so these ones are all mature now so I'll get these ones to be chopped down as well and that one's still growing this one's mature you get more wood from it being mature so that's why I'm kind of categorizing it um, all right so there's that We've got those scheduled to be harvested that looks like it's ready. Yes, it is. Um, sunlight amount, 90%. So that's good. I'm still waiting for that to ripen so I can finish the fence there, but it's just taking its time. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll put the fence or the, the other house right here. Uh, it looks like they're kind of going this way uh, to that building and going straight. So we should be able to alterate the path just a little bit. So their natural path is still something, but they can still get to the kitchen. And once we remove the build barn or whatever, then this won't be a, a huge, um, obstacle in their path. So I think that will be the best case of scenarios to start planning out a house over here. I'm trying to leave about three blocks. Uh
Alright, so I've been trying to keep uh, three blocks uh, between these, uh, so we have a decent amount of space for walking and stuff. Um, the other thing is these little saplings keep growing, so they're apple tree saplings. Once you have one of them, it's like pretty easy to get more than one, so what I've been trying to do is space them out a little bit so we can get apples all over the place, so... Uh, we'll probably put this one over here, and that should do fine. There's a whole bunch of wolves as well that we probably should hunt. I've been saving them for winter though, so we can deal with that um, during that period. Not sure, there, it looks like there's a lot of bones all over the place though. I'm not sure really what happened, but there's quite a few bones. Um, most wondering if it was hunting or let's tell this guy to uh, take that stuff and there's another guy over here that we can get uh, some of the stuff taken with um, tell him to go over here and just pick up those I guess Okay, that should be good. Uh, our, our dog seems to be coming over here to pick up the remainder, so hopefully he'll be fine on his way back. Sometimes wolves attack dogs, so I'll have to be really careful. There's a whole bunch of them around here, so... But, uh, yeah, I, I managed to get another house built. Uh, we did run out of wood, so I was just stockpiling a whole bunch of wood. So we had extra, um, there is a merchant here at our, uh, place. Uh, he's just chilling. Um, not sure what faction he's part of. Uh, the philosophers, um, of natural order. So he's just chilling in our house or kitchen, I guess. <laughs> So we're going to harvest that up. I uh, will harvest this up. I'm just trying to stockpile up on as much, um, what do you call it, uh, hay as possible. I know that we have a lot, but we can use it for other things as well. And we need it for um, animal feed as well. So that's really an important ingredient, especially early on. Uh, once we get enough wood, though, I think we might even have enough wood. There's just scattered around where we have to collect it and stuff. Uh, we'll start building the next house. The door will be facing on this side. Alright guys, so I got a bunch of houses built today. I'm pretty happy with that. And we also got that um, 
tower built so we can defend our gate and stuff like that. So uh, this other house still needs a bed and a few other things. I think he's working on bringing some of the stuff over from the other place, but um, that will probably be done by next episode, no doubt. So anyhow, uh, we got the houses built. We can start focusing on building a dining room, uh, probably somewhere around here. I think would be good or we could have um, maybe like the town square here and do something with that and then we could have the uh, kitchen kitchen area and maybe I don't know we'll figure <laughs> we'll figure it out um, I'm, I'm thinking maybe town square over here though that might be a pretty good spot for it um, and then the kitchen and then maybe like the dining or something over in here. So this little area right here. I don't know. Well, f well, it'll take some time to figure out what we want, but I'm pretty happy with the placement of the houses and how the path goes directly to our, um, kitchen. So it's just a matter of expanding it and giving us enough room so we don't need to move the kitchen and stuff. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.